Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thomas here and I have another cool gadget that I would like to share with you that I just purchased from Amazon. Uh, I made a video about uh, Aeropress a uh, while back uh, I think that's about two years ago and I will link that also on an end card if you are interested to see that uh, particular device but uh, just recently a couple days ago I have ordered um, Nanopresso by Wakako uh, which I want to share with you I would like to take it somewhere on a road and uh, I'll show you how that works. It's a pretty cool little gadget if you like the coffee on a go, if you seek for an adventure on a bike, whether it's biking, hiking or basically motorcycle, uh, motorcycle riding and camping and you like a good quality coffee, that's the device that you may be really interested in, especially when you are off grid and you're making uh, yourself a good breakfast before your riding day. A great coffee is always a great start, of course. So let's go somewhere and find a decent location where I can uh, show you and demonstrate uh, that little device. And I'm pretty curious myself, how is that coffee gonna taste? Um, it looks very promising. So let's hit the road and uh, search for a cool spot and we'll make the full review. I'll get myself a nice cup of coffee. I, I got a, this is a espresso coffee. So I got a clear glass, which I normally don't use, but I want to see the crema. Uh, how is that forming uh, using this device? So let's go. So let's go and find a decent location. So I'm pretty curious how that coffee is going to test taste. I got my stove, I got my water, and we're gonna ourselves a great cup of coffee apparently. So I'm just approaching Brack Creek area and uh, I'll head out again probably towards McLean Creek to find a table that would be great to have and uh, like a picnic table and uh, I'll start prepping the coffee and I'll show you how uh, all the contents and everything how that works. Um, there is some other reviews uh, of this device that I've seen. That's what uh, basically tempted me to buy this thing. And the most appealing feature is that uh, it's really small. And I'll show you how small that is uh, once I get to the site. It's even smaller than Aeropress. And uh, also it comes with a storing pouch if you choose to that option so there's two different options of purchasing you can purchase that thing uh, just as the standalone unit or you can have a, a little storing pouch or pouch or case i should say it's not a pouch so uh, like last week i took my daughter for a ride i'm just doing a short ride because uh I'm not feeling well the past few months, I should say, so I'm not able to go for a far ride, um, like I'm medically like not, not capable to sit on my bike for a long time, um, seeing the doctor regularly. But uh, it's getting better, which is a good thing, and I'm hoping to return to work uh, sometime soon. Um, so that's just a little side note why I'm not riding uh, too much lately uh, but yeah my health condition uh, kind of uh, crapped out uh, since February pretty much 
and um, I gotta stay home and take care of myself pretty much. So that's just a little side note why uh, the videos are kind of short and uh, I'm not making any major trips or nothing. But uh, I'm hoping to still to that everything is gonna get better uh, by June. Uh, that's where we're planning our big trip and uh, that's the, our yearly bigger adventure with a group of guys and this year we're gonna have another guy most likely joining us so I'm really looking forward to that hopefully I'll get well by then it is uh, early morning and it's only six degrees for many of you it's cold to ride but for us living down here in Canada we gotta take the opportunity to hop on the bike anytime the sun is shining pretty much like this year the spring comes uh, really really slow I'm not sure what's up with that but it's still cold and it seems like it's gonna be warming up in the next few couple of weeks so I'm really really looking forward to it okay just entering my clean area Last time when I was here, there was still quite a bit of ice on that road uh, that I uh, that I'm planning to get into today. It was slippery, but that's still not a big deal as long as there is a picnic table. And I don't remember whether there was one or not. Well, there's a couple picnic tables there, but I could have done the job. But let's see if uh, there is uh, any room by the pond. Well, it looks like we have gravel now. <laughs> oh, there's a picnic table there. And that would be a nice spot. Well, the good thing is I still have some gas from last year. So I had some coffee still left over from the house and So, what I'm using is my MSR international stove, multi-fuel stove, so you can use it either with uh, propane or with the ga any type of like gasoline or kerosene so first thing is first let's put everything aside and let's unbox this thing and i'll show you what's inside here The wind is still a bit chilly. I might need a jacket. I don't know yet. We'll see because that sun just went behind the clouds So this is how it's packaged It's super small uh, This is a small water so you can compare it to this. It's actually even smaller than uh, bottled water And then inside you have your Wakako Nano Press. So first, you have your cup on the bottom if you want to use that uh, cup uh, to drink it from. And uh, right on the other side, 
you have the water container, a cleaning brush and a scoop to put a proper amount of coffee into the chamber. Then on top you have your filter, that's where you load the coffee and you press it down and uh, you extract the coffee. So let's boil the water first and we'll get the espresso. That will be probably more than I need. Teapot, it's made by Sea to Summit. And pretty much I got all my other dishes made by Sea to Summit as well. So I have a little bowl, expandable. So it's nice because they're super light and they're heat resistant. So you can use it for a lot of different um, cooking, uh, like uh, you can fry the eggs, you can uh, preheat the soup uh, or anything pretty much. And I also have the small uh, bowl, which you can either eat from or you can also um, use it as a little pot. But usually I use that boat only to eat from. So that's uh, when I'm on a longer adventures. Uh, those things are available. Um, I bought it here at uh, Atmosphere or Mech, I don't remember now, uh, in a local uh, camping store. You can probably find them if you are interested. Uh, they're really good because they don't take up a lot of space. And of course you still have the lid for, for, uh, for that whole thing. So that's a, that's a kit that I bought. But I have a Yeti mug which is uh, better because um, it holds the heat or cold. So whether I'm having a drink or I'm having a coffee, then I use my Yeti. While the water is boiling, we'll prepare the nano press. That isn't the best coffee to the to do the espresso because it is hazelnut flavored. But that's what I had at home. I didn't want it to get it just uh, to stop to get a coffee on the way. So we'll use as the instruction. All right, so you put that into the filter. And then you, use, you can use this to pack it down a little bit. Don't press it too hard. And clean the edges. Then you put this down into the chamber right here. There's a seal inside and you screw in the top. Make sure it's tight. I've got my clear glass so you can see. Uh, also, I can even uh, see if there is gonna be any crema on top. Pretty curious to see and taste this coffee. It looks like the water starts to boil. Yep, it's boiling. So we can turn off the heat and when you there is a line inside how how much uh, water you pull you put in there so don't overfill it make sure you just fill it up to the line all right flip that over and screw this part in I'll get this aside all right and now what you do you flip it over so the water is on the bottom, you flip it over this way and there is a pump here. So now you do the pumping. Oh wow! Do it with a steady motion and you will see when it stops dripping your espresso shot is ready. So if you want a bigger cup of coffee or with cream you can do that as well 
just top it up with water or extract two uh, two doses here and you can add milk or sugar if you like it I don't I don't drink it with sugar but if I drink normal coffee I will drink with uh, cream so that's finished all right put that aside and if you can see we've got about two three well th solid solid three millimeters of crema on top even though it's not a real espresso coffee but it's still brewed it properly so now let's taste it perfect in the morning nice and strong coffee mmm this is good this is good this is actually way better than um, than the AeroPress uh, that I had before wow I still have it actually but uh, I think that's gonna be my go-to oh wow it's pretty good so that nano press um, it's very similar what you would get uh, in a lot of um, even good quality coffee shops because um, what I'm looking and what I was reading about it before I got it uh, that generates 18 bar of pressure or 261 psi um, that's um, that's pretty um, pretty comparable to a lot of uh, high-end machines except this is all manual but the good thing the cleanup here is also not too difficult I will show you how to clean that up uh, basically just empty the container and uh, rinse it out with water and uh, you're good to go and um, that's pretty much it uh, there's not much maintenance check your o-rings once in a while you having a quality coffee on a campground like this uh, this is not a campground this is just a little uh, recreation area uh, in McLean Creek just outside of Calgary about half an hour uh, from my place uh, I like to come here even with my daughter sometimes for just for a couple hours to hang out there's a lot of pe people fishing uh, in the area as well and a uh, lot of good uh, uh, quick riding just on the other side of the pond if you want to go on a gravel trip that's the place to go and uh, it's not too challenging a lot of riders can go through there Mm, this is good it's finished <laughs> and you can still see the residue on the glass so now let's get to the cleanup part I brought also a few wipes that I can use to clean that up so those are unscented wipes I always take them uh, when I go camping or adventure riding So we'll get some of that warm water to rinse that off inside you don't have to you can just wipe it but since I have it why not and then flip it the other way and there is your extracted coffee so you can empty that or we'll rinse that off as well I'm sort of anal about cleaning things and uh, keeping so it lasts a while because uh, they do mention that uh, it's supposed to be cleaned after every use which is not a big deal like in the morning when you wake up you st and uh, by the time you have your breakfast and everything else it's okay to clean everything and uh, there is also an adapter available for this uh, if you want to use the pods uh, one of those uh, pods that you can use in uh, espresso makers uh, you can buy the attachment uh, I think it's about 25 bucks and um, I didn't mention uh, that the price of this thing on Amazon with the case was hundred and about hundred and ten dollars and uh, I think I, I'll put a link in the description this way uh, if you are interested to buy that uh, you can click the link um, again it's not gonna be affiliated link because uh, I'm a, I don't have an account with Amazon all right so it's clean so as you see it doesn't take too much to clean that up 
Uh, inside here, there's also a little o-ring. Once in a while, good idea to take that out and clean under, uh, as per instructions. Put everything together, and it's good for the next time. Well, I gotta say, I am happy with this product. There we go, cleaned up and good to use for the next time. So we had a cup of coffee. I really recommend this product, even though it's not affiliated link, but I still recommend this product. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, as always, the most important thing for me, uh, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to hit that like button. That uh, helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos, especially it's a small channel. I'm still not monetized and um, getting closer to a thousand subscribers and thank you guys uh, the, whoever is watching this channel and uh, if you do subscribe that's uh, always I uh, really appreciate it um, I'm looking to forward to make more videos uh, in the future and uh, check out my other contents a lot of reviews a lot of rides uh, that I want to share with you and until next time uh, I'll see you in the next video cheers so all that stuff packs really small. I, I just bought a like cheap little cooler lunch box to, to carry everything. All my cooking stuff basically is in this uh, little container. And everything fits in that little pouch. I could still probably, no, that's not going to squeeze there, that's going to have to go separately, not a big deal. So, this is it for today. I made a previous video how I pack on my adventures. If you're interested, you can also check that out, uh, what I carry. And basically, my right hand side pannier is always with the cooking stuff and food. And the left hand side pannier has got all my camping gear. Never leave without a headlamp. Uh -oh.